Mr. Chairman, I'm now pleased to yield four minutes to the gentleman from Ohio, another hardworking member of the Financial Services Committee who knows this bill passed 60 to zero with no Democrat amendments offered. Mr. Davidson. The gentleman from Ohio is recognized. Thank you, and I want to thank the chairman of our committee and uh, the chairman of our subcommittee uh, for making great points and for pushing forward this great legislation. Uh, the members opposed to this legislation uh, were for it before they were against it, as has been pointed out. Uh, but the other thing is, is the premise of the argument that's being made in opposition to this bill is that uh, the United States should somehow give money, uh, just spend the money. Regardless of how poorly the World Bank will deploy this capital, regardless of whether they're effective or not in accomplishing the important mission of helping address poverty in some of the poorest nations in the world. And the specific purpose of this fund is to address poverty, and it's not done a very good job of doing that. Frankly, they've abused the funds they've had, and so the premise would be that somehow we can just spend the money and, uh, and trust that somehow they're going to get better. Well, thankfully, Thankfully, when we were talking about it in committee, and when we've talked about it on this side of the argument here, and I hope it's a truly broad bipartisan support for this bill, to show that to the American people, we do expect a return on our dollars. We expect results for the money that comes to this body to spend on behalf of the United States of America. And I think the other premise is that somehow, unless we just send the money, with no strings attached and no expectation of results, then we're not engaged in the world. That somehow we've withdrawn from the world and, uh, and, and we don't care. Uh, nothing could be further from the truth because we do care. Uh, we are putting terms and conditions on the money. And because we do care about poverty and the results, we care that the World Bank operates, frankly, to accomplish its mission. And so while uh, some would look for bigger, bolder reforms and maybe better use of U.S. tax dollars. We certainly expect some accountability for those results. This is a very measured uh, objective in this bill, and I commend, really, our committee for coming to this consensus, 60 to 0 in committee. I hope for a similar outcome when we call the vote on the floor of the House, and I yield my remaining time.